we just be drifting. Big jigs, we just be drifting. Big jigs, we just be drifting. Don't you wanna drift with me? Big jigs, we just be drifting. Big jigs, we just be drifting. Big jigs, we just be drifting. Don't you wanna drift with me? Big jigs, we just be drifting. Hi, you guys, and welcome back to Thick Kick Thrifts, where you come for the fashion, but I hope you stay because you know I love you. Hey, hey, hey. Mm, mm. yeah, we still jamming, y'all. I just came back from eating, and we had a date night out of this world. It was so much fun, but thank you guys for stopping by. This is a haul video. I was, I had a quick request to do dresses, so today, if that is something you are into, make sure you stick around, but before you leave, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and become one of the family, honey. If you are new here, sweetheart, Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate you and I hope that you enjoy. I am your host, Nitra, aka Sugar Mama. I hope you enjoy, you guys. This one is going to be really cute, so I really hope you like it. To all of my family members who are always there, I love you. <laughs> I love you, girl. I love you. I sure appreciate you. And I hope and I pray that you guys are having a spectacular day. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the outfit of the day. And then we're going to jump right into this haul because it's a good one. So let's go. All right. So this is my outfit of the day, of course. And I will make sure I put on the side here, the side post so you can see a full body but this particular set came from and it's not really a set i kind of made it a two-piece set i went to charlotte Russe. um if you look at one of my previous vlogs um the girls and i or bailey and i went to uh, lynn haven mall if you are in this area and we have a charlotte Russe, and this top was ten dollars no yeah ten dollars and the bottom was 12. so for 22 dollars and change i completely just made a complete set out of it and i ended up throwing on some um nike wedge and you'll see hopefully you're seeing it here some nike wedge um or nike platform amazing comfortable nike platforms i love these shoes i love this style of shoe i have so many pair i'm actually looking for other colors because i know they have quite a few colors so i'm on the hunt for those colors i had a beautiful sweater that my honey bought he bought it for himself but it was too small so he knows i love oversized sweaters so i went ahead and put the sweater on so i will show you with this particular way and then i'll show you with the sweater on so i hope you guys enjoyed now if you want to know anything about the sweater leave me a comment you want to get your honey a really beautiful sweater now he needed a 4x honey because he got all the muscles he got all the muscles but i a simple 3x 2x was fine for me but he needed something it doesn't have a lot of stretch to it so with that being said i hope you guys enjoy the outfit of the day if you have any questions make sure you just leave me a comment down below now let's go ahead and get into of course the hair still hair y'all i couldn't I, we ain't gonna gloss past it we ain't gonna gloss past it honey if i still don't feel like she's your queen to be i swear i look like i need to be a coming to america so y'all if they do another one tell them call me so i love this i love you and let's go ahead and get into this haul because i enjoyed and love it also so let's go all right you guys so for my first piece i had a request this week for and i'll try to put the name uh i think it was sharon who requested to go ahead and do a haul featuring dresses so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stick to the casual like i said casual um you going to work you going to school something to get you by in your daily 
use because I'm a daily girl. I don't do a lot of fancy bodycon. Now in the summer, I love a good bodycon maxi dress, but just to get you by for work, school, play, so things of that nature, this is what this haul is going to be about. So if that's something you are into, let's go. So for my first piece, I'm going to start out and we're going to go to a couple different styles. Now, of course, there are a million different ways and styles of dresses to do, but I'm going to start out with this one. This one is just a simple shirt dress, and this one will take you to and fro. I can wear this literally as a shirt on top of a pair of distressed jeans with some booties or some boots and be good in the winter, in the fall, in the spring, in the summer, because this particular material is very, very thin and very light. It is a paisley material, and I hope you guys can see that. It is a paisley material. Can you see? Isn't that pretty? It is a paisley, paisley material, and to me, it just screamed spring. Springtime, I am praying and willing and wishing springtime to come on in, honey. It's time to warm up. I have been cold for long enough, so I love this. Um, it is a button down, uh, and it has a little bit of ruching at the bottom, so you're not quite as squared off, and it's a lot more feminine to wear. Now, I'm just going to throw these on with some strappy heels for today. I'm going to throw this on with these, so I hope, um, I just think that this will give it a more feminine touch to it. Now you can definitely throw on some boots or some booties with some tights right now for the winter and a nice cardigan and be good to go. But for tonight, I'm just going to show you toward the springtime because I am just, come on, Jesus, come on, Jesus, send it on in, send it through. Come on. Somebody know what that song is. Send it right back to you. That is my song. Let me know if you know what that is in the comments. But this, it has browns and creams and pinks and greens. Let's go ahead and usher this on in. So I hope you guys like the way I am styling it. Like I said, I'm just going to style it this way for today. I could definitely, for a pop of color, I could definitely throw on these wonderful awesome awesome heels if you are going to church now the way I'm dressing it up there you can go anywhere with it but if you want to do a little more casual and a little more churchy and uh, school if you work this would be your platform a little more comfortable but if you're going out to eat on a date night or church the other ones would fit you just fine so if you want that pop of color this would definitely be your go-to but let me know which one you like best. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Now we're going to jump into our next piece. All right, y'all. So for my next piece, I hope I'm not going too fast, but I'm trying to learn how to speed through these things a little bit quicker so you can get your fashion, honey, and go about your business because I love you. And I know you got stuff to do, but listen, my second piece is another beautiful but yet simply like it's a very simple chic form of dress it is just this really really pretty it's like a suede a faux suede um it's from new york and company now that first dress i paid two dollars for at my local goodwill and this one was not the it's, it's just the same they had um if you look in my my vlog my last vlog they had Two colors of the day, of course. I always go to Goodwill first because they do the two colors of the day. The one color was 50 and the other color is 75. So I tried to make sure I find the little bobbins and the little pins here. If you can see that, the little pins there with um, the specific color of the day because that's how you get the big discounts. Now, all dresses are six, six, 25 or something like that and then it's either 50 or 75 percent off of that and this particular dress is a faux suede um just a simple midi link it's not that full length but it's that midi link that way if you wear it now you could definitely throw on a uh, trench coat or a cardigan and a nice pair of boots which is what i'm going to do and you pretty much you're just ready to go out the door so you 
It already has the ruching here on the side. So these particular sleeves are already tagged. So you don't have to worry about folding them up and them unfolding. You can show all of your jewelry and your bangles, whatever you choose to wear. And this one just happens to be a button up, which makes it all the more comfortable. Now for something like this, I usually would wear uh, a really good body shaper underneath because you don't have to. Now this one has the um, bow in the back or the, the actual tie in the back. So you can ruche this one in or you can let it hang straight. It's your preference, whatever you decide. But I love it because it's just something that you want to look for when you want to think simplicity. When you want to be simple, but you want to look like you are put together and you want to look like you tried, but you really didn't. This is the type of things, the things that I'm showing you today are the types of things you're going to look for. Now, I have a couple of pieces I'm going to show you that are different. And I'm trying to show you a little bit of both. And this is one of those simple in and out no thought somebody say girl we having a brunch be ready and i'll see you there this is what you want to look for or this first piece and like i said <clears throat> excuse me this is a size 14 so it would be a little more oversized on me but fit perfect because you don't want this tight because we're looking for comfortability and that's my new word so i love you guys i hope you like the way i styled it but there's no, <coughs> excuse me, there's no slit in the back and there are pockets. You guys know I love a pocket. So this is so cool. And so I just think it's one of those things that you, it's a no brainer. So if you're looking for something of that nature too, you can wear this to school all day. If you work at a school and an office, this will be very comfortable. It's very soft to the touch. It's very light, so it's not one of those suede because it would be heavier. It's that faux suede, and it's just so pretty. But um, you can get away with this all day and be comfortable. Now, I'm going to throw these on with a pair of boots that I'm going to show you in a second. And I just think it's going to be a really cute look, so I hope you enjoy the way I'm styling it with these boots that I'm about to show you. Let's go ahead and get into the look. All right, so for my pair of shoes or my boots that I found, um, these are a pair of those knee-high um, boots that everybody is wearing. I forget what they're called, but um, everybody, almost every brand you can think of has a version of this boot. Um, and it's just that boot that kind of covers this. This one here is suede, and this boot kind of hangs over here and covers most of the back of the boot. But this one here, I just thought it was so cute. Um, it has a very small heel to it. So they're very comfortable. And the brand is Naughty Monkey. Okay. Now I have another or a couple pair of Naughty Monkey shoes. And when I tell you, it has to be a brand ran by women because these shoes are so comfortable. If you ever find a pair of Naughty Monkey shoes, walk around in them try them on. You're going to love them. The cushion is always on point, but most of all, the heel to, uh, the heel ratio is always very comfortable. So far, every pair that I've tried on or that I purchased, and I always find mine either on Poshmark or thrifting. So I love Naughty Monkey. Um, and this one has this belt buckle here and this belt buckle is so cute. Um, very understated and it has more of like a gold like a brassy look to it can you see that this brassy look to it um if you see me looking i'm looking in the mirror so making sure you can see the entire boot but there's a little bit of scrunch that it does itself so you don't have to worry about getting that style of scrunch in your boot it did it for you and it's going to stay that way so you don't have to worry about doing it and it's very simple very easy to put on because they're not as high as the thigh high boots but these for me hit me right at my knee or right under my knee so I could wear these with a pair of jeans jeggings um and this this is going to be so cute in the springtime with a nice pair of distressed jeggings um but these 
I just think they're so cute and this buckle detail really sets it off for me. So I thought I would wear this with this particular pair, this particular dress, because this brown will offset and give that one a little more contrast and tone it down just a little so it doesn't look so bright because I'm already brown skinned as a melanin girl, as a melanin queen. This will kind of anchor it and bring it down some to give it a little more texture and detail. And of course, because it's a little chillier outside, I can wear a pair of knee high socks underneath some thick socks and still be comfortable or warm or some tights and be just fine. So I hope you guys like these. Let me know what you think. I hope you like the way I styled them with that particular dress. I have another dress or outfit that I'm going to show you a skirt set that we're going to try on with these same boots. So let me know what you think in the comment section. And most of all, let me know what your favorite outfit or dress was in this haul. So let's get into the next one. Let's go. All right, you guys. So for my next one, my next couple of pieces I'm going to put together. Now you guys saw that one of these pieces, I'm going to show you again really quick, but you guys have seen this particular skirt um, in a previous haul. And as you can see, I'm really into the schoolgirl Catholic, I call it like a Catholic girl style mini skirt. And it's not quite as many because I'm only 5'3", so it hits me just perfect as a regular skirt. It looks mini, but it doesn't look ratchet like you ain't yeah we ain't doing that girl you look good we ain't doing all that so this is how, why i like these so much now um and it's from the brand hayson or hey son it was a brand new skirt that i thrifted um from goodwill and this particular skirt i think i paid two dollars and change for because like i said i always go in and intentionally look for the colors of the day. The only time I don't buy something that's the color of the day, it has to be something vintage, something well worth whatever the price they're asking because I buy so much, I try to stay on budget and my budget is usually $20 for my hauls. So this particular skirt was like $2 or, oh no, this one was $6.99 with the discount. So, oops, excuse me, didn't mean to get that close, but this one is $6.99. 99 but i thought it was this was one of those where i thought it was worth it because it was brand new so i'm using this skirt because um this particular top that i found in goodwill and this one was a yellow tag so that meant it was 75 percent off so i think i paid a dollar and change for this top now it is from a brand called r and m by karen kwong and this is, uh, if you look at the tag, it's more vintage. Can you see that? It's more of a vintage style tag. And this one, um, of course, Goodwill does not, they don't put a lot of their tags here. So they put these little bobbins here. If you can see this in my fingers, it's one of those little bobbins. But I love the detail on this one. It's more of that kimono or Japanese style in the front. Can you see that? It's more of that Japanese style in the front. I love those buttons, those details on those buttons. They kind of give this brassy look to it. But the tone of this jacket was so toned down for me and simple. This could be something you could definitely wear to church, to work, to school, wherever you're going. And like I said, for the winter, you can throw on those same boots. And I'm going to throw it on over like a jacket over this skirt with a simple um either white top like this or i may leave this top on just to give you an idea of what it looks like together but i could wear this as a dress if i want to go out on a date night honey and i want to give it to the girls then i would wear something like this and it would turn into more of a mini skirt um or a mini dress now I am going to probably try to show you the only reason I'm for sure putting something under it is because of the slits on the side here. You could definitely go ahead and in the summertime, if you're going out, you could definitely get away with this honey with nothing under it, but a nice pair of bike shorts, as long as they're, um, or boy shorts, 
So that way you really give that look like you meant to do that, but you still have something under it covering you, which is what I may show you. But the slits on the side, honey, you better be ready to give it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. That's what you're going to look like. Now, the smaller you are, of course, if it does not, if it drapes on you different, you can get away with that. But honey, with these hips, I done told y'all about these curves that I got. San Francisco, uh, them hills and valleys that, that I'm dipping with. I'm definitely going to have to put something under this. But to have that kimono look, and I would definitely wear a pair of thigh-high boots with this. And, 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 and just shut it all the way down. But just to keep it simple, because that's what we're going for today. I'm just going to throw it on with these um, same boots. And keep that brown monotone or monochromatic look. But kind of give it a little more texture at the bottom with the color of those boots. Now, I could throw some sandy brown thigh high boots on i do have some but i really don't want that whole look going on because there is a dark brown in this if you can see that see that dark brown that they have in there so i'm going to try to pull that color out so i can um just give it a little more depth and texture into that but this is a vintage brand I, i'm going to have to do a little more research on but i can tell by tags Nowadays, they don't make tags like this anymore. So this has to be like early 80s. I would say early 80s um, for the brand, but I will make sure I look it up. But I just love this. And I hope you guys love how you see how simple that is. Sometimes you just want to keep it simple, but at the same time, have it really, really sweet. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoy the way I styled it. Now, let's go ahead and get into our next couple of pieces all right y'all so we are moving right along i hope you guys are enjoying let me know what your favorite is so far so for my next piece we're going to gloss through really really quick now i showed you guys this particular um dress it's a sh another shirt dress now i showed you guys this particular shirt dress maybe about a week or two ago but i forgot to show you as a dress so when the request came, I figured I'd go ahead and style this up as a dress because I styled it more as a cape or a shirt. Um, shirt, I had it kind of tucked or cropped underneath with a pair of cargo, look, just them cargo cam camo pants. Y'all, one day I'm going to do a whole look. I love that look, but this is a really beautiful, long, maxi kimono styled. See that? see that and it has pockets y'all now i thrifted this a couple of hauls ago maybe about two or three weeks ago and i styled it up but like i said i styled it with pants and i was supposed to show you me styling it in a dress and had so much stuff i was showing you that i completely forgot so we're gonna go ahead and style this one up it is just a simple button down maxi dress and this is perfect for summer winter spring fall whatever the look is you are going for you can pair, wear a pair of thigh high boots which is what i may throw on or you can throw on a pair of heels and i'm going to throw this on as a dress and i'm going to use this as my outerwear because i wore camo pants under it last time this time i'm going to throw on a camo piece of outerwear now this is one of those um thrifted camo jackets from the navy that i purchased this is um, actually a size medium. Now, I thrifted this about a year, a year or so ago. So I'm just going to repurpose this and use this as my outer piece just to give it some of that depth because I love using that color. Um, I love pattern on pattern. So um, I just wanted to show you guys, even if you wanted to switch it around and do the camo top, don't ever be afraid to mix it with another print because... It's something about that camo it just of course blends in it does exactly what it's supposed to do so i just have a simple pin that i thrifted um a long time ago can you guys see that it's a really cute pin but i hope you guys checking it out oh she's so cute they so cute y'all but i love this um I haven't pulled it out in a while, so I'm really excited to see what this looks like over this. Because like I told you, when you guys see this style, 
I'm wearing it and I'm seeing it with you as I'm editing. So I hope you guys like this one. And like I said, I'm just going to style it as a simple maxi dress with a nice pair of heels. And I'm going to throw this cardigan or this cargo um, camo jacket on over it because I just love those colors. And I'm going to use my shoes as my pop of color. So let's go ahead and get into it. I hope you guys enjoyed the way I styled it. And I'll see you guys for the next couple of pieces all right so we are down to our last couple of pieces i hope you're having a good time like i am now my next piece or couple of pieces i put together while i was thrifting because honey when i tell y'all beyonce gonna have y'all in a chokehold this summer with them country pieces so i figured i would throw one of those in for the girls who love a good blue jean something a uh, blue jean anything just like i do but honey she got them couple of songs out now and they already doing line dances they getting ready for the summer so you might as well go ahead and get your hold down on the go down for the low down in the thrift store so i found this beautiful hold on one second i found this beautiful jean jacket but i'll show you the, the skirt first now this particular jean ensemble it is a blue jean material it's just a beautiful um stretchy very very stretchy and it just says the brand is active wear usa um it is in a size large it don't look like it but it is but the best part about this whole thing is the stretch this has got to be i don't know what material this is i need to look on here and see what material this is because i need every pair of pants that I own to come in this material. This is so pretty. And it's just one of those um, right above your bus cut off tube, tube top style. I want to say a tube top style. Now these pockets are just faux pockets, as you can see. And this was a 50% off another one of those Goodwill specials. So I think I paid like $2, of course, whatever I pay for the other ones, $2 and change. It was the same honey this dress is only a a slew a little bit of material so it was only worth two dollars uh because ain't that much material but it's gonna hug every curve that i have so i know when i wear this i will be putting on some um shapewear now when i style it up i'm just gonna throw it on for the good good of the good of uh, uh, all people so please give me a little grace but if i were to wear this out i definitely would put some shapewear to it it is a mini skirt style um but it's all in one so the top and the bottom honey yes this is the top and the bottom but i think this would be so cute under the pockets are faux like i said and the buttons um, are also, so you don't have to worry about the buttons coming undone. Um, but it's just a really simple, beautiful, but I love the color. Can you see that color? I think that the color is just so, so pretty. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm really, my mind and my brain is like focusing on spring. I'm so ready for it to be cold. I mean, for not to be cold, for the, my room is spring colors. I have the the peaches and the the whites and the the blues light blues the pale blues i'm ready for it so i thought this would be a really pretty addition to my collection of bright colors if you notice i don't buy a lot of blacks i'm pretty sure you've noticed that if i do it's black and something i don't wear a lot of blacks because i just love color but i thought this would be really really pretty to throw on with some strappy sandals or some uh some boots some cowboy boots if you you down way yonder or if you just wanted them girls throw you some cowboy boots on with one of these and i'm going to show you this really cute um jacket to wear over it in a second so let's go ahead and jump into the jacket but i hope you guys like the way this looks and i'm going to show you with just the dress on while you're looking at this one and then we'll put it both together with the jacket in a second let's go all right let's go so for my next piece like i said it is just to me it screams the little country song beyonce have honey it, it's about to be on and popping and i'm gonna be ready so i hope you guys like this one i'm gonna show you in a second it is trimmed in that pink or peachy can you see that 
see how that trimming has that peach or that pinky um the seam or the type of of threading that they use is the exact same color as the dress i just showed you now i could get away wearing this with anything because it's not as bright um it kind of just looks like a really really pretty um decoration or but i love the pockets look at those pockets look how pretty that is i just thought this was so beautiful and i thought like it just reminded me of what are those jeans called um wranglers it's not uh, i'm not sure somebody took the they took the actual tags out of it um but i only paid two dollars for this jacket because it was 75 percent off so it was as a matter of fact it was a dollar and change i have the receipt over here but it's about a dollar and change so almost two dollars and i almost left it at the uh, thrift store but I looked at it and all I could hear in my head was Beyonce's new song playing in my head. And I'm thinking, baby, she about to have them in the chokehold. I better be ready. So I saw this and I tried it on and it fits so perfectly. It has the cinching in so you can tell it was a women or it is a women's jacket. And I'm going to step over here so you can see exactly how it looks over this dress but it already has this tailored look to it if you look at it it has these seams here the seams are already sewn in so i don't have to worry about that pleating really really gives the bust a really feminine look but it has these really pretty buttons on here these buttons are so simple i mean it's just so understated but i think this is so pretty and if i ever wanted to do that canadian tuxedo look with the with the cowboy boots and some some denim some dark denim pants y'all this would be so pretty you know what i need to find a dark denim crop uh, uh, or or some form of a top maybe i'll have to diy me one but i love this you guys and it just reminds me so much of country music and i'm here for it I don't care what nobody say. I'm here for it. it. What she got is some country songs and I'm here for it. And when it come out, I'm going to get it. So I love this. Let me know what you guys think. Would you wear this? Are you into the country thing we got going on? Honey, we've been country. We made country. We are country. And I'm from the country. So I can say that for sure. And honey, when I tell you grandpa used to be on the porch with his guitar Looking like Friday Lady Cordell and he did rock <laughs> crab. Yes, he was. So anybody know me, they know my grandpa always had his guitar with him singing that. All we listened to was country music. So I'm excited for it and I love this look. And I'm just going to throw it on with some strappy heels and we're going to keep it moving. So let's go ahead and get into our last piece, you guys. We made it. Come on, let's get to the last one. All right, so I went ahead and got the ties. So last week I featured this particular tie. And as you can see, this one is a Josh A. Banks signature collection. I don't know who that is. I just love the color. But she showed how to make this particular necktie. And you can use either a string or a necklace to show. You see that? You can use a string or a necklace to show um, or to, to adhere it to whatever you're wearing. And I fell in love, y'all. And y'all know I love a good DIY. So just to support the sister, I went ahead and recreated. And I put my own little touch to it with all of my pins and decorations. Now, I'm going to show you how I plan on styling this. Now, I have this beautiful A-line and this one is more like a t-shirt i'm um, not a t-shirt but a another one of those shirt dresses but this is actually a dress now this one i plan on putting this on here and you can wear it like this and i want to showcase it in this aspect and it's just this um particular it's more of an a-line skater style button up shirt dress and what I did was I did my own DIY at the bottom. As you can see, I went ahead and cut because it hung so low. I've never even worn this dress before. I got this years and years ago from New York. And I, this is my first time finally finding something to do with it. Um, I usually don't wear a lot of white. 
here I go today with all this white on, but I used to uh, just not, I get, I get this so dirty. Usually I have something on it to show my day, but I did pretty good tonight. I didn't get anything on this one. So I thought I would bring this one out. And like I said, I can't really bring it up too close, but I did cut. If you can see, I altered the front of it. You see how high the front of this is. I went ahead and cut this and I made um, with the stitch witchery and I put it on and then I hemmed it to where I want it with the stitch witchery. You don't have to use a sewing machine. You just using an iron. You put the stitch witchery down and you just ironing it, adhering it together with the heat. But I would love to wear this and I'm going to try it on with this tie. And it's so simple and it's so cute. And I thought I would put it on with that particular jacket. We're going to see how that looks together with a pair of thigh high boots. But I also wanted to try it another way. And I'll show you guys in a second. Let me get the second bow tie and then we'll put it all together. So let me get it. All right, you guys. So my next tie, um, she did another version of the, the bow tie. And I love this one. And it's just this really cute, huge bow that you can put. Isn't this cute? Y'all look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to get a little closer so you can actually see how pretty this is. And all you, did, you do is take two different bow ties, whatever colors, whatever size you choose. Now, these are just regular bow ties. If you use the grandfather ones, they're a whole lot thicker. So it's just up to you, your preference. But I would love to try this one. And I threw on one of my brooches here. And I thought this one would be so pretty on there. So I threw this brooch on just to give it a little more. Uh, Y'all know I got to bedazzle something. So I'm going to put this on. And of course, my goal. Here we go. Ah, I could have worn this today. Look at that. That is cute, but this is the goal to wear it this way, but I'm going to use it and I'm going to tie it like a belt onto the dress so I can cinch it in at the waistline, but I also want to try it up top just to give it that feel. Oh, that is so cute, but this is one of those um, types of, to me, the big bow to wear when my hair is pulled up and away from my face, so this would be your drama. Because if I wear it like this, it's too busy. It's too much going on. But I just think this is so cute. And definitely, I'm definitely going to do this when I do my hair another updo. We're going to wear this again. So I just wanted to show you the bow. And I hope you guys are enjoying the way I'm styling it. Um, if you want to learn the tutorial, like I said, I'm going to make sure I put her name on TikTok. She, you, she has a whole bunch of videos step by step showing you how to tie these particular bows and to you can like i said you can make them bigger you can make them longer it's your preference and all you do with the excess if you want to tie it is pin it in the back so you can't see um the extra but of course i didn't want it that long in the front that's why i have so much left over but I hope you guys like this. I just think this is so genius. And I love supporting a sister, especially when she got some good going on, honey, because I hope and pray somebody would do the same for me. So I love this. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you like the way I styled it. I'm going to do it as the bow tie and I'm going to try it as the belt. And we'll see which ones we like the best. Make sure you let me know which way you think is the best. Maybe I'll tie or pull my hair up when I tried the bow tie version. So I love you. I hope you enjoyed. Now let's go ahead and get into my favorite, favorite part of the video, you guys. All right, so you have made it to the end of the video. Yay! Let's get a round of applause for yourselves. You guys, I really hope you guys are enjoying the new um, editing and the new format that I have going here. I hope you like the way it looks as I'm styling them in the different area. I keep saying that because I want to make sure you guys can see the clothes better there versus 
here with all of this behind me so let me know in the comment section if you really like the way it's going now and how quick we are moving along through things so let me know if i'm doing a good job make sure you give me a thumbs up or something in the comments and let me know you like this version or this way that we're doing things so i love you guys so 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 much i hope that i am growing I hope that you can see the growth. If you do, let a sister know because it sure is needed because I'm trying to make sure that I'm keeping the progression going. I don't want to just stay stagnant in what we are doing. I'm working on some new things to try. Um, I One of my cousins uh, hit me up and we're going to start go, kind of going back and forth with doing more dropping tidbits of jewels of knowledge because of the stuff she had her own cancer battle. So I'm I'm trying to get a thrift and chat where I can start featuring different women or different people who have who have something to say that is very solid and valid that I think you guys could uh, really learn from and be blessed by. Um, I'm just trying to think of the format that I want to do it with. I don't want to just thrift and then put a camera in somebody's face. So I, I may just do a, a little bit of thrifting and show footage of us kind of thrifting and um just ask questions and let them answer questions as we thrifting but at the same time the thrifting is the therapy part so i hope you guys uh if you dig something like that make sure you let me know in the comment section if you guys would like to see something like that um i really think that uh, my gift of course is and the part that i love is fashion but i think that god has brought me and and the people that i he is bringing into my life or has brought into my life through things that we are still here to help and educate and love on and spread um his good news so i'm working on that but just wanted to keep you guys abreast on what we're we're working on this year so i love you and i thank you for growing with me Make sure if you are new here or if you are not, make sure you have already hit that subscribe button and that like button. But most of all, make sure you hit that share button. See that share button at the bottom is one of the most important things you guys can do for me. If you hit that share button, it will allow you to share this on all of your platforms, your social media platforms, or you can send it directly to somebody. And you want to send it and make sure you put Come on, like, and subscribe, and join the family. So I love you, and I appreciate you guys so much. My goal this year is to hit 3,000. I hit, I'm, I'm coming up on two, but I know God is amazing, and I know you guys can help me do it. So make sure you're sharing this. I truly appreciate you. I love you guys so much. God is so amazing. You know, God, I don't do nothing. I don't do anything without God. And I don't do anything without putting him first. So I know what he is capable of. But I also know that he uses you guys to help me also. So I love you and I pray. I speak life over us. I speak an abundance of joy and good health and I speak just love into your heart and ask I ask God for just the mental stability and to just continue to bless us and keep us for his good and his name all right y'all in Jesus name somebody say what amen amen and amen honey and I thank you for stopping by thick chick thrips honey because you came for some fashion but honey what you gonna get all is love yeah you is y yes and you gonna love it and i thank you for it so have a wonderful week you guys and god willing i will see you guys thursday for our blog make sure you're keeping up with our blog series because that is where i show you all the thrift stores that i go to and that is where i name all of the thrift stores that i went to by name i show you exactly where they are and the street everything so make sure you're keeping up with those so i love you and i'll see you guys god willing next thursday and sunday for our haul you know i got another one i'm working on so i love you and i'll see you guys Thrifting. Don't you wanna thrift with me?